Hey guys, what is up? I'm finally uh, going to talk about Apex Legends and the Battle Pass that's, you know, officially been announced today for it to release tomorrow. And a, a lot of the articles I've read <clears throat> haven't really been showing off enough imagery, so which is why I'm going to do this. <clears throat> Uh, but I didn't realize on their main website they actually have all the details. So it's kind of like the same as um, Fortnite when it comes to the Battle Pass. Um, and they're actually calling it a Battle Pass. So basically, you have your 950 and your 2800, which is start off at level 1 with you know your three rewards that you get at level 1. Or you start at level 25 with the bundle. That's kind of the same, the exact same thing as Fortnite, which is pay, pay the less amount, pay the more amount, so on and so forth, right? And those are the three skins you'll get uh, when you buy the Battle Pass uh, for the 950 one. Uh, now, the cool thing about it is that they're mimicking Fortnite pretty much all the way uh, for the most part. Basically, you can earn a 1,000 credits to uh, pay for the next Battle Pass, so you only have to really drop 10 bucks uh, and play throughout the season in order to get the next season uh so you don't have to really spend any more money after that unless you're impulsive and want to buy more skins like how most people do on battle royale games um but yeah so basically level one through six uh nothing really special here other than the skins um i don't really care about the tags or the the um, level five i guess it's a banner um that you can put up um but yeah same thing you can earn credits here you can get uh, some more skins and XP boosts uh, along with credits. So you can earn, earn credits as you level up. Um, they have some interesting choices when it comes to this stuff. Like, it, like when you look at it, it doesn't really look like much. I mean, the, the credits and the weapon skins are fine. I don't, I'm hoping I don't have to rush when I play this game. But I'm guessing it's going to have to be that way. Because uh, it's kind of a, a, a strategy to kind of get you to play the game. And that's what every Battle Royale does. Um, but so you get like, uh, you get these special, uh, loot boxes, uh, throughout leveling that guarantee you a legendary skin. I don't know what this one would do, but apparently, uh, some of these actually do guarantee, um, weapon skins. Uh, I think you get, uh, when you buy the battle pass, I think you get like five loot boxes and a few other, um, contents, uh, along with it. So yeah, like, uh. You get a sniper, shoddy, uh, the Evo skins. I mean, these. This is not like there isn't really anything that on here that like screams like I want it. You know, I mean, I'm curious to see what these what these loot boxes will give me. But aside from that, like that skin looks ugly. That one looks alright. Um, now this is something that's kind of cool. Uh, you get an octane skin at level 48 um, or tier 48, and and uh, and. Uh, peacekeeper skin uh which is kind of cool um i don't know how this would look compared to the original I, I've, I've seen like a few screen grabs of the original but eh, it's all right it looks cool i guess nothing nothing too fancy i think that's supposed to be a legendary skin though which is kind of cool <laughs> like i'm so nonchalant about this because i'm not i'm not that excited about this like I, like some of these weapon skins look all right like it I, to be honest i'm not a fan of the art style of this game I think all the most of the characters look ugly, and the we the weapon skins look all right. But I like the art style of Titanfall, so and the gameplay of Titanfall, so that which is why I really like this game. But like one other thing though that I'm not digging is that there is no cross play or or at least cross progression like Fortnite does, which really I really liked about that game. Um, I'm not that big on Fortnite, but like. That was a really nice feature to have. So, like, if this game... Because I don't want to have to buy... Uh, I'm still debating if I want to buy it on Xbox and progress on Xbox or on PC and play with my friends on PC. Because there isn't really, like, a reason for me to buy it twice, I guess. Especially if you're limited on time to unlock stuff. But, you know, it looks like you get a Havoc skin here. More credits, more voice lines, um, more loot boxes. It's not emphasis on the loot boxes, and that looks pretty cool. 
I'm like I said, I'm not I'm not too big of a fan, especially because like, get ready for this tier 100 is a it looks like the havoc, right? <laughs> that that is the havoc. So you get a havoc skin, legendary, uh, when you hit tier 100, which looks cool. I think that's like a it looks like a wolf, um, but who honestly uses the havoc? I don't. I mean, I barely use the devotion, but the havoc is, eh. Like unless you got a turbocharger or a select fire, I guess. Oh, a select fire, I don't really care about. The turbocharger makes it a lot better, but I don't know. Having that slow firing, uh, slow firing start, and having it like ramp up as you hold down the trigger is whatever. I mean, there's better guns. Like I mean, I like how there's a few skins for the R301. R301 is definitely my favorite and most people's favorites. But so far, I mean, it's cool that we get to not that we can get enough credits for the next season. But aside from that, I'm not too keen on this. Um, it's still cool. I mean, especially because you get, like, when, once you buy, yeah, once you play Season 1, you can earn five Apex, Apex Packs, Legendary, Frontier Legends, blah, 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 blah. one Wild Frontier Legends skin, uh, which I'm assuming it's only Octanes because they're only showing off Octanes unless there's uh more wild frontier legend skins um but yeah uh honestly i'm gonna link the website or this page below so you guys can check it out for yourselves um but that's basically it um the marketing and business strategy is 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 good especially because it's a free-to-play game they're not it doesn't seem to like it's it's more respectful so respectful for the company to do this as opposed to um doing what ea usually does so which is which is a plus so and which is why the game is actually mm, successful because if it was just a cash grab then i'm sure a lot i'm sure people would lose respect and stop playing like um the game so uh yeah uh like i said i'm i'm not these skins look all right i, I want i want more dramatic looking skins that will change the appearance of these characters even further so that's just my point of view um what do you guys think of the battle pass? Do you are you guys gonna play this season? Um, and it all it all it all actually depends on um, how fast you progress through the battle pass because if it's if it's really if it's too slow it's it's definitely a problem. Um, too fast is not a problem. So there's that. I don't think I, I haven't seen anything on like on like completing challenges to get more rewards to progress in the battle pass. So, but. I'm hoping it'll it won't take more than f four or five games to uh, progress through one tier. Um, cause other than that, it'll be it would be awful to have that slow progression. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. At the same time, I I'm eh, I'm kind of neutral about it. I, like I'm not hyped, but I'm glad they're finally releasing Octane. Um, and I want them to release more characters over time. Uh, the one that caught my attention is Nomad, um, just because the way he looks, but he still looks unfinished and unrendered, so uh, got to wait and see what happens with that. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys liked uh, my <clears throat> boring voice, <laughs> I, I, I kind of just woke up like an hour ago, but uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching.